Trotters on the gate for the sixth race. Here they come. Off and trotting on a break, getting away from the gate. Dewey, don't cheat. Also off stride goes Smoke Monkey. First away for the lead is Dewey, Lover, and Lever, who rockets to the top for Henry. Second away at the inside, Mass Balance showed up third towards the rail. Dad leads. Campbell presses on with Tony Soprano, fourth outside. Fifth and parked is Dunvegan and Dawn. Sixth at the rail is Pucka, dropped over seventh. Will take charge. Further back from an eighth goes No Fear Blue Chip as the trotters head by the quarter in 28 flat. Campbell parked and pressed with Tony Soprano and Tony Soprano circles up to take over the lead. Dewey Lover and Lever left to gain the pocket spot in second. A gap of four lengths back inside to Mass Balance third. Overland from in fourth, Dunn, Vegan, Dawn. Fifth inside, Dad leads. Sixth up on the move now, will take charge. Then it's back to Pucka. Condren lost, no fear, Blue Chip who's on the run and Philly on lost. Mass Balance spoiled a three hole trip. Did Mass Balance as the field nears the midway point? Tony Soprano and Campbell cruising through 57 and 2 first half speed. Tracking in the pocket spot is Dewey, Lover, and Lever. Out and driving will take charge from third. Then fourth inside Dunvegan and Dawn. Fifth on cover Pucka. Sixth with the pack is Dad leads as they move into the final turn. They chase Tony Soprano. He's good to go on a lead of a length. Pressure from will take charge. Pocket sitting third is Dewey, Lover, and Lever. Gapped on cover fourth outside is Pucka. Fifth in at the rail Dunvegan and Dawn. Then sixth Dad leads. Leads. They're at three quarters and one twenty-six and two, and they spin home. Big favorite Tony Soprano leads the way. Back into second now. Will take charge. Takes cover. Third in at the rail is Dewey Lover and Lever. Dunvegan Don is fourth, and they drive into the final eighth of the mile. Tony Soprano still there, and he operates on a two-length lead for Campbell with a sixteenth of a mile of racetrack to cover. Tony Soprano in deep stretch leads by three, and it's a super final score for Tony Soprano. Tony Soprano, much the best. Will take charge with second. Dewey Lover and Lever finish third, fourth best on Vegan Dawn in 155-1. Tony Soprano takes the two-year-old Colton Gelding OSS Super Final. I'm going to be joined in the winner's circle here by the Hall of Fame duo of driver John Campbell. We'll catch up with Bob McIntosh in just a moment. John, let's start with you. Let's just talk about maybe the early action, the way you left the gate with this guy. Uh, yeah, they were trotting out of there pretty good on both sides of me. And, uh, you know, I had to ask him down the, after we got out of there to make the front. And, you know, 28 is a decent first quarter for those horses. And uh, after that, he, he rated well and uh, he responded really well in the stretch when I asked him. Late in the season for these two-year-olds, others maybe go the other direction. This guy seems to be just getting better and better. He's held his form. Uh, you know, he started out very good, and he's held his form all year. And I think he is maybe as strong tonight as he, ha as he has been all year. You followed him, you know, almost everywhere. Just talk about how high you've been on him all season. Well, Bob asked me to come up uh, beginning of the year. Said he had a nice trot in Colt, and I got locked in on him the first night. Drove him bad, but he did have a lot of trot. He, he gets over the ground good. He's just, uh, you know, he's naturally gifted uh, with his gait. And, uh, you know, I think he's got a really good future ahead of him. Well, it's been a great day for you. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, let's bring in Bob McIntosh. And, uh, Bob, congratulations. Two OSS uh, Super Finals for you here tonight. Uh, L.A. Delight earlier was ultra impressive. This guy, too. What has been the difference with him? The last two starts, this is just much, much better than he's shown all season. Yeah, that's been cool. I was really high on him all last winter. I kept talking him up to John. And, uh, you know, he went through a little few growing pains during the early in the summer, but nothing major. And uh, he's just really matured into a great horse right now like a really nice horse which i think is just a matter of maturity what was it that attracted you to him at the sale was uh, you know a big part of it the fact that you trained the mother and were high on her obviously yeah 100 percent. you know like i loved her i trained her 
we bought her, her, or La Florian bought her, the mother, one song soprano to sail in Lexington. I trained her, so we trained her through her whole racing career, and she was just a fantastic mare. And, uh, you know, since I seen this one in the catalog, I said, I got to take a look at him. I wonder if you can maybe just give me some insight on the relationship uh, that you share with John and maybe the admiration you guys have for, for each other. Well, you know, I always said John's like Allstate, you know, you, you feel pretty safe with him. Yeah. So, and the more zeros on the first, the better he is. So he doesn't he doesn't get rattled. And uh, you know, we've been doing business together for 30 years. And uh, I uh, I listen to his feedback, and uh, I can talk to him. And we just got a great relationship that way. We've known each other since we were kids. Ten super final trophies for you now. Uh, keep up the good work. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. All right, there's the Hall of Famer Bob McIntosh, Tony Soprano, his latest victory in the OSS super final.